Hey everyone, my name is Rob Sayed Jr. I am a children's book author and illustrator and today we are going to talk about how to navigate through your layers in Procreate quickly and efficiently and really look at how we can make ourselves more productive while creating great art. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here you see we have a bunch of layers and these are my base layers before I do my texture. And I wanted to show you a, a useful way that's hidden in the preferences of Procreate to find layers very quickly just by using um, the pen and your other hand. And the way I have it set up currently, I think is probably the best way just because of two reasons that I'll show you after I demo how to use this function. And it's very simple. It's this button over here, this little square you'll see, and then you push with the pen and hold, and it pulls up this diagram of layers. And if you, if you go over and tap, it picks that one, right? But if you go over to say the pink one, it finds that one. And this is very helpful. You can keep dragging and it does it in real time. So it's very useful when you have a bunch of layers. Here, I'm actually using a clipping mask function and you can see that it's showing me the top layer, which is layer seven and the bottom layer, which is layer six. Uh, again, very useful for when you're doing bigger projects or even just projects where you need to move quickly. And I use this function, instead of going all the way to here every time to find my layers, I find it much easier to go in here and click, and then I'm drawing on this layer. So the reason why I use my two hands for this is because I like to keep my eyedropper tool with my one finger. So by using my one finger, I can pick colors. I often go back and forth be between color palettes and just going back within the actual illustration I'm working on to reference colors. And I find that much easier for me and much more fluid. So to set this all up, you have to go into your settings in Procreate and in preferences and under gesture controls, you'll find all these options, and this is where you can really customize the way you wanna set up any of your uh, gestures or uh, commands that you want to function within the program, but we are gonna just be focusing on layer select, which is the second to the last function uh, on that list. And here you'll see a list, um, touch, uh, square and touch, square and pencil, touch and hold, which is what I'm currently using for my eyedropper tool. So I pick the square and Apple pencil. You can also um, here put in the delay function like you could do with other tools in Procreate, such as the quick shape tool, which is really useful. You can really dial it in. And I highly suggest spending time setting up tools for you to move much more quickly and to produce artwork without any distraction. And, and I think the word fluid that I used before is probably the best way to explain this because it's when you are fluid, you are worrying much more about focusing on being creative as opposed to executing. And as you get further and further in your career, you executing your work is there. I, I like to think of them as two different things. One is like, I know how to paint things in my style and in my my way of, of working, where the creativity part is where I spend almost about 75% of the time working on composition, colors, et cetera, and even just concepts in general, like what, what's going to be on this pig sign it, and all that. So that's the tool. And again, these little, little tips all add up into you becoming a better artist and, and also becoming a better long-term learner. And, and what I mean by that is you should always be a student and always be evolving your work. 
rather than restarting from scratch every time. And these are little tips that I wish I knew <laughs> from the very beginning that I find very useful and they become a very much, uh, have become very much a big part of my workflow every day and every, every minute to be quite honest. So I hope this helps you and I'm gonna finish the rest of this illustration and I'll see you at the end of the video. so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and please let me know how what you thought about the video in the comments if you want to see more of my work please visit me on instagram at rob say art or at my website at www.robsayart.com thanks so much and see you next week